Hi, I'm Fred Cox and I use the Laney L5 Studio. I'm a producer, songwriter, a musician, um, primarily focused on the guitar since I was about eight years old. My job essentially most days is being in a room with a singer or a songwriter and I'm running around the room in some mad tripping over lead fashion recording lots of different instruments. It all starts from recording instruments, whether that's drums, pianos, guitars or whatever. So just this whole bringing amps back into it keeps with the original core values just, of just recording sounds and capturing them into Ableton or whatever bit of computer thing you happen to have that day. This is essentially how I make most of my music between a laptop, a little sound card, and some instruments. Changing Laney into the, into the mix has been absolutely awesome, because instead of having to use software and fiddle on here, I can keep the same energy that I'd use for recording a live drum kit, for recording a piano, and then its guitar can still be the fluid, valvey thing that you know, we're used to playing at gigs or whatever. 100% of my favorite things about this amp is the reverb. It sounds gorgeously delightful and stops me using little digital things which uh, kill the vibe. Um, end up using tunes and even reamping through this just to alone use the reverb. Um, definitely the favorite setting on it is 10. So this is this where, where you get Ableton into it, um, which is extremely awesome for manipulating audio. Uh, I can have, you know, my manipulated drums. So these are drums I've used from my sample pack, Noisy Fred Sample Chef. Um, and I can straight away have drums I've recorded in the studio, and then I can be like mobile like this and just have the smallest footprint of a desk and have live drums, bass, and then the sound like I've got a, a valve amp cranked really, really loud whilst having a DI out of it, which is still baffling, baffling. Mm -hmm. So this, these, these are some drums I've like prepared just as a, something to play guitar over, but it's some crunchy live tapey sounds. Now let's, let's just lay some chords or something. And then instantly Ableton comes into town with the chopping, the reversing of So yeah, having recorded actual audio and the reverb and then quickly throwing Ableton in the, in the flex, gigging band dreams combined with my like Fruity Loops, Trap Drums dream of having everything meshed in the same place. Again, pitching down land. So if I'm even, if I'm in the studio now, it's just like you have a vibe going, have something happening, a little bit of interest. And then you can add source. Get a bit of that. The other real fun one with having 
this whole amp situation on the go and being too lazy to pick up a bass and just play some root notes. God, let's get a real, a real dry thing on the go. Here we come. Hey, everyone needs a loud click track. This is where we can take it back to pretending we've got a bass, take it down the octave. <laughs> the amount of time I've spent trying to get um, software amps do that is uh, thankfully a distant, distant memory. Tell them what it do. Just because we can. Reversing guitars is one of my favourite, favourite things. With all the ambience falling over itself. Just taking out having this in like a live room, having moving a mic, uh, the emulation out, means I can literally just plug in, plug and play and drop in, drop out. I can have speakers on in the room and you're still gonna get a direct valve amp. Reversing things, making your guitar playing sound better since tape. <laughs> quick little stack of him. Dun, 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 dun. As quick as I can hum the harmony, I can record another track to it. Second chances. Back, 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 back. There we go. So I'm Fred Cox. This is my main L5 studio tool for all the guitar things. Um, I've used it on this amazing album I've done with this guy called Kia, who's coming out on Vertigo in Germany, and being able to just transport this whole studio setup into, you know, on the road or just in a little writing room is, is you know, in keeping with the whole energy flow of having excitement in the studio, excitement in the bedroom. I can record just the headphone out. Um, yeah. It's inspiring to make tunes with.